Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> Old Rusty here again. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I've been getting a lot of creative ideas this week. So, today, uh, we're going to talk about axolotls and regeneration farms. Now, you may have seen some uh, shorts floating around uh, on YouTube lately by certain YouTubers uh, of Minecraft, very popular, about how axolotls are able to provide regeneration effects. It was called a bug by some. Now, or has uh, been playing around with this concept now for quite a while. He's got three different farms that uh, all work in the overworld to give you uh, hours upon hours of regeneration utilizing the powers of axolotls. This is incredibly useful. Uh, when you're playing in uh, any mode, you'll find that you will ignore your hunger bar quite a bit because what takes up the most amount of hunger? Healing. When can't you heal when you lose a heart and a half? Half the time when I'm playing in survival, I don't even notice my hunger bar till I realize, oh, I can't sprint anymore. I better eat some food. Uh, the re regeneration constantly in effect all the time is that powerful. It will change the way you play the game. It's great. It's wonderful. And today we're going to hear to talk about its downsides. Or more specifically, when you play the, uh, when you run a, a standard regeneration farm and you rack up minutes upon minutes upon minutes of regeneration uh, or I should say I've had 6,000 minutes before and then I died and then it was all gone or I did something silly like I ate a golden apple now you look at this oh regeneration too and then it's gone I got absorption up still but no matter how many golden apples I eat it's was just four seconds and that regeneration too will overwrite all the effects uh, another thing we're going to play with here is we're on the end island. If you play on realms, the end island is always loaded. That's awesome for what we're going to do. Because I bring to you the perpetual regeneration farm. Utilizing 40 axolotls. And of course, buckets of fish. Because no mob is going to spawn around on the main end island uh, if there's no player present. You're not going to get these mobs to spawn here anyway. But what will keep happening is redstone will run. And mobs that have persistence, that have interacted with the player somehow, will always exist. And they'll do their thing. These axolotls will always sit here. These buckets of fish are always going to be chilling in here. And when I turn on my farm, that fish is always going to load. And look, I've got three minutes of regeneration for killing one fish. And all that's going on here is I have a dispenser. I load up my buckets of fish into my double chest. And now I have six minutes. I've got an etho hopper clock here with 32 items in it. Put in more. I'm doing this to kind of speed it up. You can put in more. This is just 20. I have this deliberately running fast. And then they'll start working their way again. And all that's happening here is these two pistons slowly push back and forth while also triggering the dispenser to dump out another fish in front of all of these axolotls and keep just driving my regeneration up. Now I'm at nine minutes. Oh, but what about the buckets? That's okay. We filter them all out. I have a item filter system here designed to just take my buckets. So this hopper always stays full of nothing but yummy, yummy fish. See? When it fires again, that's going to come out. Another fish is going to be deposited in, and my fish keep rising. But you know what else is good about this? Well, first off, oh, look. I have regeneration, too. I ate a golden apple. Or even an enchanted golden apple. Those are great. Regeneration four for five for 30 seconds. What's going to happen is, with that regeneration 5, it's going to tick down. It's going to wipe out my hours and hours. But, I'll get some back. Now, here's the other good thing in the main end island. I'm going to leave it. Where's my portal? We're going to go back to the overworld. This will also work in the nether. As long as that farm is running loaded with sweet sweet buckets of fish it doesn't matter puffer fish cod salmon tropical fish you can even put tadpoles i'm going to 
Remove all of my status effects. I'm in the overworld. That farm's in another dimension right now, doing nothing. But because I'm the one that threw the trident, I got three more minutes of regeneration. Another issue I'd have is, oh, I died. I would die so many times. I'm sitting there flying around on my elytra. I fell from a high place. Well, and now I've just lost all my regeneration effect. I'm trapped out in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to die if this wasn't in peaceful. Things are going to start attacking me. What am I supposed to do? I have no protection. But wait, there it is back again. The point is, as long as that farm's full of fish and you've got it on, no matter where you are in this game, on realms, when it's on the main end island, it's just going to keep on ticking away, giving you more and more regeneration. Because having a thousand minutes of regeneration is great, unless you have a tendency to just keep dying. And then what? Well, let's take a look. Will it work in the nether? It will. But I want to show it that it, in fact, works across all dimensions. Forgive my Xbox. It is a bit slow. It'll build the terrain. Or it'll get hung up. Ah, here we go. I'm in the nether. First off, let's wipe it out. Great, regeneration effect's gone. Ah, but I have absorption now. I have extra health. Before, now I'm out of regeneration. If you sit there and combine that, eat four golden apples, you too can get absorption all the way up. Whoops, see, now I've lost one. But I have regeneration back for three minutes. But did you know that if you eat golden apples, you can keep eating them? And you can get your max health up. Now I have eight extra hearts, but my regeneration's gonna fade away. What if I'm doing PvP and I want a little more ammunition to go with and I don't have a gapple? Well, let's just wait a second. And it too will return. There we go. And that's the great thing about this. It would appear my game has bugged out. I'm on fire. I love bug rock. Uh, bedrock is just the best. That's still not loading in. The game has no idea what to do right now. Time is frozen. I may have just broken my game. There we go. The point is, if you want regeneration on demand, build it in the main end island. Quick little setup, and you'll have infinite regeneration and three minute increments old rusty out